I, I didn't know what to expect. I'm saying, how, it, how is New England Sinai gonna get me back to where I am right now, sitting on the golf course? They did. They did a fabulous job. I played golf that day that I went to the emergency room. I just thought, you know, they were going to give me a shot or a couple of pills to send me home. I had boop pneumonia for the second time and was in a coma for approximately 30 days. They were trying to clear my lungs and came close to dying. The doctors were saying, I don't think we can save him. And I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning and said, where's my wife? I thought I dozed off for about 10 minutes. But I had a choice, uh, you know, a couple of weeks after recovery at Mass General of going to a pulmonary rehab hospital. I came in like a piece of spaghetti. Because I had been in a coma for 30 days, I lost all my muscle mass. I couldn't even push the, the call button for the nurse. So when I first met Bill, he was profoundly weak, really. He, he couldn't even use his call light. And he was essentially a rag doll. We had to be there right behind him to keep him from losing his balance sitting up at the edge of the bed. He could not raise a washcloth to his face to wash his face. That's how weak he was. I was pretty sick. I was a sick guy. I couldn't even lift my head up. My physical and occupational therapist came in and, you know, kind of talked to me and said, you know, what do you expect? And I said, ha, you know, with you two people helping me and, and my motivation, I hope to get out of here as soon as I can. The first thing he said was, I nearly died. <laughs> they, were, they were making funeral arrangements, and, um, but I'm better now, bring it on. <laughs> 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 so um, we did. They challenged me every single day. Uh, Midge and Julie, uh, they challenged me. And I met, I just tried to keep up with the challenge. I was at Sinai for six weeks. After I got out of Sinai, three weeks later, I was out hitting some balls. I wouldn't say I was playing golf, but I played two or three holes, you know. Staff was wonderful, wonderful. I mean, one of the reasons I'm here, because of the complete staff at New England Sinai Hospital, from the doctors down to the nurses' aides. They were just wonderful. They just, they couldn't do enough for me. And it was, it was terrific. Just everybody was nice. It, it, it gave me the impression that everybody that works there likes to work at New England Sinai Hospital. And then I found out that they had a pulmonary rehabilitation class. I'm, I'm into that right now. I'm about halfway through. And it's working out very well. I mean, they've taught me how to breathe because my lungs have been compromised the two times having the boot. I'm a yakka. <laughs> I'm a talker and now I can talk freely for a long period of time without worrying about catching my breath. My, my daughter is getting married next month and oh, she, she wants me to up, be up on the dance floor all night long. I say, yeah, right, okay, Allison. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do my best. Huh? I do all the cooking at home. It's fun. I like to experiment with food. It got me back so I could be back with my granddaughters, back with my family back coming over here in the winter to play gin and back on the golf course to play golf. Sinai absolutely gave me a second chance at life. Oh, and I'm gonna add this in. I thought the food was fabulous. 